Yo, what is up? We're out here, beautiful Switzerland, not too long ago. We've been to Japan, and I'm about to tell you the story of how I met Luis Mora in this beautiful country. Additionally, I will introduce you to some great skaters, amazing humans that I met on this journey. Having the time of my life, getting to know this miraculous culture, and I'm just blown away and super grateful for the experiences I could make. Very excited to finally release more footage of this trip, and getting you to know my dear friend Keiji. After two weeks of traveling some of the most famous cities in Japan, I went up north to Takasaki, which is the main city of Gunma Prefecture. And I did that to meet this great skateboarding teacher that I've been following on social media. His way of filming trick tips just got me intrigued. Like it was just different from everything that I've seen before. And I thought it was smart and it just helps people to learn skating faster. So here's some footage from my first day in Takasaki. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> We're out here in Japan, Takasaki. About two hours away from Tokyo. It's more like countryside of Japan and I just love it. There's a lot of trees and mountains everywhere, just like home. The name of the skate park is Kome Yama, which means rice field mountain. And I'm here with my new friend, which I'm about to introduce you right now. Soreba Watashi no Atarashi Tomodachi Keiji. Yes. Hi. Anata no Trick tip wa chozu desu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Chotto matte, kazu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like legitimately the best trick tips on the world on his social media. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Chotto skate shio. Okay. Skate shio shio. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Quick side note I said shio, which means salt, and it should have been shimashou, which means let's go. Let's do this. So I basically said skateboarding salt. Making mistakes is part of the process. Sold out? Sold out, yes. Sold out. Ah. Ocha. That has been a really fun session so far. Like, not so serious tricks. Getting to know the park a little. It has a lot of fun, small obstacles. And there, we got some water. Yes, please. Mizu o kaimashita. Mizu kaimashita. Watashi no ocha o kaimashita. Kazu ga tsuyoi.
I cut his board because I'm an idiot, but I'm sure he's gonna relay it really real quick. So here's how it goes. This park has like a dark side to it and it looks actually pretty scary. Kawaii, as Japanese would say, there is a Primo slideable mani pad over there. And as soon as I see something like that, I I got a Primo slide. So how fun wax, master wax in the game. All right, let's put some butter on this. Wow, this is really hot. It's probably gonna slide like crazy. It was an amazing fun session, very playful. All the skaters on that session were so kind and I'm stoked to call every one of them a friend of mine. I spent an entire week in Takasaki, there's much more footage to come and I will also be trying to portray this amazing skateboarding teacher, KG. I have a huge amount of respect for that person and you're about to find out in some future videos. But now let's finally talk about Luis Mora. In fact, I met Luis on the second day of my trip. In Tokyo, I was in my hotel room contemplating, like, should I text him or not? Will he be annoyed by me texting him or whatever? Well, at some point I was just like, okay, I'm gonna text him, leaving behind all my insecurities and see if he's down to hang out and skate. After a few minutes, he texted me back, very kind. And so he said he was actually down to skate. And I was like, wow. Okay, that's uh, that's amazing. Getting nervous, I'm looking forward to meet that person. So my schedule was really tight because I wanted to film this game of skate with Chase and Park. One of the weirdest, funnest, and probably also one of the most embarrassing game of skate I've ever played. Now I'm gonna take that embarrassing part back. It's a very good example of how we should not take skateboarding too serious. So I was hoping to have that finished by the time Louis arrives because I kind of didn't want him to have that first impression. Like meeting me the first time and I'm just grabbing my skateboard with my teeth and it was awful, but that's actually what happened. But he was taking it easy and humorous. We were shaking hands, having like a little chat. And uh, we will finish the game of skate. After that, we had some very interesting conversation about skateboarding. He told me his personal story, how he grew his YouTube. Like I have only been observing this over the years, but now I finally got like insight from the man himself. So we talked for like an hour and I don't have any footage of this because like when I meet a person, I don't wanna like pull out the YouTuber 3000 and hold the camera like straight towards their face and be like blah 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 blah. I don't want to discomfort people that way, like I want to get a no first. So after that we played a game of skate for fun and we made this gentleman's agreement with like basics only. A really fun game of skate. I think none of us had like a peak performance so I'm also kind of glad this wasn't filmed. 
but uh, we ended up being T to T and I managed to win but I think especially basics only it could go either way like on some days he could beat me on some days I can beat him but when it comes to his skating it was really interesting to witness that in real life like you see him in a video and be like oh that's a nice hard flip then you actually see it in real life and you're all like wow that's a bomb so I was really stoked by the style and pop that was coming from his skating. Before it got dark, I managed to overcome my social insecurities and I asked like, yo, Louis, uh, you might want to film like some flat ground tricks together. Is, th is that okay? And he was like, yeah, let's go. And I was like, oh, oh, that's so cool. So here's some tricks we managed to squeeze in in a short amount of time. So yeah, all I can say about Louis, big love for this human being, being like this successful, at the same time this humble, this kind, down on earth. From the conversations I know now, like how much thought he puts into his videos, trying to come across with a message that is trying to connect like skateboarders and at the same time like trying to grow skateboarding, which is beautiful and welcoming, like that's... Louis, if you're watching this, thank you so much. After skating, Louis showed me and Chase in a soba place close to the skate park, which led me to my first soba experience, which was delicious. Oh, she chose udon. Wow. That's udon? Yeah, that's udon. What? Yeah. I've never seen udon like that. It's, it's really good. Wow. Japan. You were cold? you dirty dog. Yeah, I got the cold. Listen to Louis so over hungry. here. Look at this. <laughs> this crisscross. Oh. I never learned how to properly hold my chops. Wait, you live here and you crisscross? I don't know how to do it like this. It, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it's all in like I use my middle finger to move it. What can learn? That's how you do it. Oh, Jason. Oh, Johnny. Arigato <laughs> gozaimasu. <laughs> what do you say before eating? Uh, itadakimasu. 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 There you go. Dude, with our food, can you take a photo? Like, yeah. you can stretch out your arm. I feel like you're at the end, is, so you can get Can you use chopstick? <laughs> I can. Chopstick skills. That's how we do it. <laughs> okay, now I'm nervous. So, how does it go like this into that? Wow, uh, you just yeah. did the worst thing you could possibly do. Did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> First time, mm. Zobo. It's delicious. Having even more great conversation and just good times. And that was it. The story of how I met Luis Mora, story of how I met KG, story of how I finally got reunited with my team buddy Jason Park. And I'm just so grateful to have the opportunity to get to know all of these beautiful human beings. I hope you like this video. I hope you dig this format. 
If you want to support me, all the links in the description. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.